You know, I have railed against Pastor Andy Stanley for years now. I mean, I could do a three-hour video alone just talking about all of his false teachings, everything from telling Christians to not look for Jesus in the Old Testament, basically just discard it altogether. It's not worth anything. You know, and then I can, I can go into other things that he has said about how Christians should remain in the middle, had, you know, should remain on the fence when it comes to certain things. But then there's this latest clip from Stanley talking about rainbow Christians and how they have more faith than straight ones. We're going to dive into it here in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important to also you please share this video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. Guys, really quick, want to remind you a couple different ways you can help donate here to my ministry. One, you can click the super thanks down below. You can attach a donation amount to that uh, with a comment. It'll pop up down below, highlight it all in these little colors, nice little colors. Um, also, you can help me out over on Patreon. You could sign up for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash conservative truth you guys are awesome we hit our goal for the month of january we got our five new patrons hey why not try to break the goal let's see if we can surpass it also when you sign up there guys you're going to be alerted for all of my content very important because if you only watch my videos through the yt alerts trust me you're going to miss a ton of content you're not going to get all of them so go to Patreon for that, but also you can leave your comments on these videos completely censorship free. No worry about YT blocking or taking down what you guys are saying. You can even send me direct messages there as well. So check out the platform. I recommend it. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So let me go into this whole thing. This is crazy. So Andy Stanley at the Drive Conference, it was last year that he spoke at this. This new clip has come out, which I will include for you in the description down below. Stanley talking about the faith of rainbow Christians. And you know what I mean when I say rainbow Christians, as opposed to straight ones. He said that if only the straight Christians could have as much faith as the rainbow Christians do. If only they could have as much engagement and desire to serve as the rainbow ones do, then my gosh, we would have a volunteer backlog, Stanley said. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're actually recognizing that rainbow Christian is an actual thing? It's not, but yet Stanley is saying it anyway, why? because he's trying to cater to them. Let me continue. After that, he said this, that despite the way the church has treated rainbow Christians in the past, God blessed them for their faith to continue to come to church even if they're in a place where they're not accepted. Then he used this comparison, said, what other group do you know other than the rainbow man or woman who's willing to come to church knowing that they're not going to be accepted by everybody? What other group do you know that is going to do that to where they say to themselves, they're willing to stand there in the middle of church, lift up their hands and praise their creator despite everything that they have been through, despite the fact that when they grew up, when they were 12, 13, 14 years old, they prayed, they cried out to God and asked for him to take away these desires they were having. But God told them, no, Stanley said. Really, God told them no, huh? That's interesting. Interesting that God would tell them, tell them no. Yet here they are still, Stanley said, willing to worship with us, even knowing they may not be accepted. And then he said this, comparing this to straight Christians. He said the only place, the only place that straight Christians are willing to go where they may not feel welcome, 
they may not feel accepted. And by the way, it's the only, it's only because they have to, Stanley said, is the home of their in-laws. Because <laughs> they have no choice, right? You got to go with your spouse. If you got to go to your in-laws house, if you don't particularly, you know, like them or there's a beef there, whatever it is, you don't feel comfortable, you don't feel wanted. Well, you know what? You're going to go anyway because you're going to want to make your spouse happy. That's the only place that straight Christians will go where they're, you know, maybe feeling a little bit uncomfortable or not wanted. Oh, and Andy Stanley wasn't done there. No, no, no. He continued on from there and even noted the specific chapters, the specific books in the Bible that preach against the rainbow lifestyle. Passages out of 1 Corinthians, passages out of Romans, passages out of Leviticus. And Stanley called these clobber verses. He said, I'm well aware of those clobber verses from these particular books of the Bible. So, preaching the word of God out of these three books to those who are in the rainbow lifestyle is now considered clobbering them. Right, we don't want to bring, you know, to their attention the fact that they're living in lifestyles that are completely out of line with the word of God. No, 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 no. We instead want to affirm them, let them stay the way they are. Let them worship in the church. Let them serve. Remember, this wasn't just about just coming to church. It was also about getting involved, becoming a part of ministry. All of that, according to Stanley. And shame on us, Christians who follow the word of God, for actually wanting to help these people, help these individuals get right with God. Look, as Stanley said here, look, they just, these rainbow men, they just want to worship in church. They love God so much. The Bible says that if you love me, Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Yet, what Stanley is saying is completely contradictory to that. He's saying just let them live however they want to live. Don't go up to them and confront them and tell them that, you know, that don't show them the passages that may hurt their feelings from Romans or Leviticus or 1 Corinthians. Don't do that. They have more faith than you. You know, the Bible said in the last days that false Christs and false prophets would arise and they would deceive many. Stanley has a huge platform at North Point Community Church there in Georgia where he's at. And these people will just eat this up. You know why? Because it makes them feel good. It makes them feel good in their sin. We don't want to talk about the word repent. That word is taboo in many churches now these days. We don't want to talk about sin. No, no. The problem is apparently anybody who is not in the rainbow lifestyle who would dare to try and help these people. That apparently is all wrong. It also reminds me when the Bible says in the last days they would call evil good and good evil People like Andy Stanley are leading the way. And all of these people who he is going to be leading straight into eternal separation from God, he will give an account one day for the things he has said, the things he has done. Now, I'm going to leave it there. But I want to hear from you and what you guys think of this. And don't forget, I am going to put that clip in the description for you to check out for yourself about what he said. What I want to do right now, though, is something I do on all my videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Not only do I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines and, you know, I keep you guys up to speed on everything that's going on, but I do it because I'm trying to reach the lost for Christ. Uh, time is getting so short, and if you're someone that has not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. 
And repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then just jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, the things in your life that go against the word of God. If you would humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You can go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for five bucks a month. We hit our goal for the month of January. We're so happy about that, guys. See if we can surpass the goal. That's even better. Also, you can click the super thanks down below. Attach a donation amount. It'll pin it down below into the comments. Uh, it's all a great blessing. So thank you guys so much uh, for watching. Um, I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.